What's up, everybody? This is Terrence Warren, CCMP certified Cisco tour guy. And this lab will be one of the T shoot labs for ticket number four. So we're going to go right into it using the ping plan. Ping plan can be downloaded from my site, cisco2guy.com. Let's get started. All right, so from the client, we're going to start issuing our pings. We're going to try to ping R1, R2, and then the, um, the web server. So ping 10.1.1.1. Oh, it goes through. Let's try it again. It's kind of slow, but the second time it's going all the way through. No problems. All right, so now we're going to ping 10.1.1.2. It's also going through. So now we're going to ping, uh, ping the web server. 200, Let's see what happens. Okay, we can ping routers one and two, but we cannot ping the web server. It times out. So we're gonna go to the router closest to the web server, which would be R1. And we're gonna just look at the config. We're gonna do a show run. See what we can see. Looking at the serial interface, I'm looking at the serial, looking at OSPF1, nothing there, looking at BGP, nothing there, looking at router IPv6, nothing there, what, well, wait a minute, do you see what I see? If you look at the IP access list NAT traffic right here. You'll notice that uh, the 10.1.0 network is permitted. 192.168.1.128 is permitted. You'll notice that 209.241 is permitted, but um. Our, the network that we're, we're pinging from is not permitted. What network is that? Let's see. 10.2.1.3. So that would be, again, we've got 10.2.1.1. Let's go back to that. 10.1.0.0 is permitted. 10.2.0.0 is permitted, but not 10. Let's go back. 10.2.1.254. Let's see if what's permitted from this router here. So we're going to jump into R1. Oh, we're already in R1. Okay. But if you notice, these are permitted, but this is denied. 10.1.0.0 and 10.2.0.0 and we just so happen to be pinging from let's see what our address our IP address is IP and our address is 10.2.1.3 and it just so happens that 10.2 is denied which is why we're not able to ping. So how do we fix that? Is we have to add a statement to this access list saying to permit us to ping. 
So we're going to go into back into router one. All right, and you see where it denies us. We're going to make an alteration to that. Interface. What was that? Okay. I don't want to type it all, so I'm just going to copy it. We're going to copy this. Interface. Hmm. All right, so we're in that, that interface now, and we're going to permit. We're going to add a statement allowing our IP address to go forward. So we're going to put permit 10.2.0.0, 0.0.255.255.255. That's our wildcard wild card mask. So we're adding to the access list this statement to permit our IP address of this so that we can ping the web server. So let's do that. Hit enter. And right, mem. So now let's go back and see if we can ping the web server from client one. Alright. And as you can see, the ping is going through, we're getting response, we're getting return times, we're able to ping the web server now. So, this, so that was the solution for Lab 4. So let's verify our answers, our, what we did. The, uh, the problem was on R1. The faulty technology was IPv4 NAT, that's where we had to add the statement to, to permit 10.2. Dot zero dot zero and the resolution was permit ten dot two dot zero dot zero to uh, the statement the net statement to allow client one to ping the web server so <clears throat> that is the solution for ticket four of the T sheet a ticket in, in uh, this lab so, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned. I hope you grabbed the concepts. Commit to memory of the ping plan that is available on my site, cisco2dguide.com, and the process of what you have to do to ping, what you need to ping to find the answers that you need. For the most part, for this exam, all you need to do is ping and do show runs. You know, you don't have to fix any of the issues. All you have to do is find them. I just do the fixing because that's just part of my learning process. So, once again, Terrence Warren, Cisco 2 you guys, CCMP certified. Continuing on with my CCMP lab series. Continue to watch and I'll continue to bring more of these packet tracer labs of the CCMP routing and switching exam. Thank you for watching.